Hey guys, it's Greg by the Bootstraps, btbootstraps.com. Check out the store, check out the social media. I uh, wanted to make a video today because I saw an article, or, well, saw an article and then heard it on the radio on the way home. Uh, <laughs> apparently, we're not supposed to have Thanksgiving anymore. I heard that the uh, environmentalists are out there and there's a petition uh, demanding that we forfeit Thanksgiving. And the reason for it is because of the environmental impact. The environmental impact of the uh, fossil fuel usage by taking our vehicles to go visit our family, the environmental impact of eating the meat and the turkeys, and then also the environmental impact from eating all that food and then producing methane gas. And I'll let you put the pieces together and what that means. You're farting a lot. Anyway, <laughs> I heard this and I went, wow, this is one, amazingly stupid and asinine. And what's interesting, for, you know, for me, you know, I, I, I read these stories and I see these things and it, it makes me wonder, like, you know, are they, if you're going to cancel Thanksgiving or your petition is to cancel Thanksgiving because of this reason, well, then I have to assume by its very nature, you have to cancel Christmas, right? Because essentially it's the exact same thing. Oh, but we like our gifts and we like consumerism, at least when it's for the economy. So we can't do that, guys. Santa Claus. Oh, yeah, but if you're talking about you know, keeping, you know, keeping in a continuous mindset about like why they're doing this or why they're proposing this, you know, essentially Christmas is the same thing as Thanksgiving except with gifts, which if you think in that regards, isn't that more of an environmental impact? Because now you have wrapping paper and you have all that plastic from the toys and the products that are being purchased and the cardboard paper, you know, oh wait, but we like our, we like our shit and our gifts, so we can't do that one. Okay. Well, okay, well, don't we have to cancel Halloween then? I mean, Halloween is a multi-billion dollar industry at this point with all of the plastic outfits and the cheap, you know, the cheap materials that are used and God knows how much we're actually paying or what kind of impact it's having on the environment. But hey, girls got to look slutty on Halloween night, so yay that. You know, fake fur costumes, arr, yay that. So that's all cool, but Thanksgiving's bad, you know. And then they try to tie it into like, oh yeah, well, what about the way the Native Americans were treated? you realize this is supposed to be an acknowledgement and a celebration of that time frame, right? You know, the pilgrims and the Indians coming together, first Thanksgiving, breaking bread with one another, Indians showing pilgrims on how to farm the land and cultivate and grow crops here in America, and the, the new world as they called it. You know, so it's like, well, that's not even accurate either. So I find all this very interesting. But one thing I did think about is the same people who are calling for this ban on Thanksgiving are they going to be participating in Black Friday or Cyber Monday or any of the plethora of the sales that are going to be going on from this point moving forward to the end of the year? And I can almost assure you that, well, yes, yes, they are. Because, you know, hey, items are on sale. We need our shit. So you're not, <laughs> you're not overly concerned with the environmental impact you're, you want to make a statement. And, and, hey, you know, and that's cool if you want to make a statement. That's totally fine. I can't judge you. Well, I can, but I won't. No, that's not true. I will. All right, I'm going to judge you for this stupidity. But you have the right to to want to do this. But you just you're just not consistent with the why, like the the how and the why and the what. We don't want this for environmental impact. But yeah, we're totally cool with Christmas, and we're totally cool with Halloween, and we're cool with the Fourth of July, and we're cool with Valentine's, and we're cool with you know um, St. Patty's Day. You know, all the plastic and the debauchery with the drinking and stuff like that, which, hey, that's fine. That's, I have no problem with that. If that's what you want to do, be my guest. I have no problem with that. But, again, you're just not being consistent with what you're saying. Can we please do away with all this stupidity and just enjoy the time for what it is? Anyway, comment below. Let me know what you guys think. I'll talk to you later.